Hey guys, this is Nasim here, and welcome back to Guardian Guides, where I break down all the patterns and teach you how to dodge them. Today's guest is Night Fox Yoho, and like the name implies, a lot of her patterns are similar to Fire Fox Yoho. The recommended battle items are HP potions, destruction bombs, whirlwind grenades, and flares. Some other battle items you could consider are pheromone bombs and panaceas. Like any guardian raid, you should start by using your flare to locate the guardian. Night Fox Yoho has 4 phases, which means she will be running away a lot. Using a pheromone bomb will keep her in the same spot between phases. If you fail to get past some of Yoho's tests, she will transform you into a fox for 20 seconds. In the fox state, you won't be able to attack or drink potions. Also, your teammates can also hurt you, so if you become a fox, make sure you are away from Yoho and your teammates. I will go over Yoho's tests and show you how to pass them. This pattern will only happen in phase 1, and if you have a lot of damage, this pattern may be skipped. 5 orbs will fly out and start spinning around Yoho. You need to get out of the circle, but if you get hit by an orb, it'll push you back into the circle. You can use your dodge or a paralysis immunity skill to get out. If you are still inside this circle when this pattern ends, you will turn into a fox. In phase 2, instead of the orb field, Yoho will shoot these big orbs which will also be shooting out orbs in random directions. If you get hit by 3 of them, you will turn into a fox. If you have been hit by two of them already, you can use a panacea and it'll bring you back to zero. In phase three, Yoho will roll into a ball and you will need to stagger her. If the stagger check fails, everyone will turn into a fox. If you succeed, a lot of buff orbs will spawn. If your class does not have enough stagger, make sure you bring whirlwind grenades. In her last phase, she will send you to a galaxy and start shooting these tornadoes outwards. If you get hit by a tornado, you will be imprisoned, and a party member will have to free you by hitting you. If you are not free in time, you will turn into a fox. If you dodge all the tornadoes, you won't have to worry about this, so make sure you dodge the tornadoes. Here's a tip. The tornadoes travel faster as they move away from Yoho, so don't go too far away from Yoho. Also, the tornadoes are much easier to dodge from the south direction. Finally, if you just can't dodge that one tornado, you can use a debuff immunity skill to prevent getting imprisoned. In phase 4, Yoho's defense increases by twofold. To lower her defense, you need to destroy her tails. Every time you stagger her in phase 4, you will be given the opportunity to destroy her tails. When you see this teal circle, use your weak point skills and destruction bombs to destroy her tails. Every time you succeed, she will lose a tail until she only has 3 left, which will mean her defense is back to normal. Yoho looks to her side, then swings her tail. Dodging towards her head will allow you to dodge this. Yoho shakes her head, then slams her tail behind her. When you see her shake her head, just dodge away from her back. Yoho will spin slowly and spawn two foxes. These foxes will drop two defensive buff orbs each, so when you see them, try to prioritize on getting rid of them first to obtain the buffs. Yoho crouches and prepares to charge. When you see her crouch like this, get out of this line. If she is glowing blue, however, you can use a counter skill to knock her out for a few seconds. Yo hops in the air, then stomps the person with the aggro. Just dodge away before she lands and you should be safe. When Yoho teleports like this, she will use a charge or a hop right after she comes back. Stay out of the direction she is facing when she comes back to dodge the charge and don't stay too close to dodge her hop. Yoho will jump and teleport, but will leave this ball shape in the air. In this case, she will drop from the air and damage you if you are in the red circle. If Yoho disappeared and leaves this ball, get ready to dodge her drop. For directions, I will be calling this the cross direction and this the x direction. The cross direction starts in the direction Yoho is facing and the x direction is everything in between. Yoho screams, spins, then summons clones that spins as well. In phase 1, only one clone will be summoned in the direction she is facing. After phase 1, four clones will be summoned in the cross direction. When you hear Yoho scream, dodge to an X direction to be safe from her spin and her clones. 
Starting from phase 3, Yoho will sometimes summon clones in the X direction as well. To distinguish the directions, you need to pay attention to the orbs that are around her neck. When these orbs are spinning, the clones will be summoned in the cross direction. And when these orbs are not spinning, the clones will be summoned in the X direction. If the orbs are not spinning, make sure you are dodging in the cross direction. Yoho starts walking like a model while dropping these meteors. Prioritize on dodging these meteors first because they will do a lot of damage. I hope this video helped you master Night Fox Yoho, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Guardian Guides. Alright, peace. I need to know if you'll give me a second chance. But don't come on often, but please, you know I can't stand it when you don't talk to me.